when the history of the 2024 presidential campaign is written, will the citizens of Westchester County, New York, garner Churchill-type praise as never was so much owed by so many to so few. But perhaps it's unwise to compare the victims of a Joe Biden fundraising scheme to the Royal Air Force pilots who defeated Hitler's Air Force. Much of Westchester County was locked down on Thursday thanks to Joe Biden and his vast entourage descending on Irvington for a fundraiser at Michael Douglas's mansion. Now, this is the kind of fundraiser that would be a little pricey for me. Uh, the uh, general admission price was $3,300 to start, and you had to bring your own pretzels. The uh, price is topped out at 100000 and that would definitely be more than what I could afford. Even though the reception did not start until 6.15, the schools were closing down at 11 o'clock in the morning and all after-school activities were closed, and the police were urging people to avoid traveling beginning early in the afternoon. I mean, it was sounds a bit like a mini-COVID lockdown, how it went. And it was strange because Biden was going to be helicoptering into a specific point, but it was like they had to have a, a two-mile radius to make sure he didn't get hassled by any hecklers. So what I was wondering is, should people be honored when their daily schedule is disrupted by the commander-in-chief, kind of like the peasants back in the Middle Ages who were supposed to be grateful if the king's troops trampled on their uh, crops? Is Biden entitled to force Americans and even Westchester County to pay any price for perpetuating his power? I'm wondering if Thursday's disruption will go down in local history the same way that Bridgegate went down for Governor Christie in New Jersey. So the Biden campaign charged people at that reception $30,000 to have a photo taken with Biden. The dude is really photogenic. Actually, Biden's Irvington whistle stop was the least costly part of the day for taxpayers. Earlier, he showed up in Syracuse to brag about giving $6 billion to a semiconductor company to build a factory there. Now, at the same time that Biden is out there campaigning, Donald Trump is locked in court as Manhattan District Attorney targets him with a sham prosecution. Biden last month raised three times as much money as Trump did, in part because Trump has been tied up with these. Uh, some of the lawsuits are really bogus, and that's perhaps the biggest campaign contribution Biden has gotten so far. On his way to court on Thursday morning, Trump stopped at a construction site, and the construction workers were thrilled to see him. They were chanting, USA, USA. I think it's unlikely that Westchester residents who were disrupted by Biden's visit had echoed the same chant. 